Okay, so welcome everyone. This is Karen Grace Martin of the Analysis Factor and today we are going to do the first session of the introduction to SP well to data analysis using SVSS workshop. And this these are the topics we're going to cover today. Okay? And I just want to go through very briefly uh, what we're going to talk about and then we can jump right in. I do want to say we have a relatively small group here and especially with this kind of workshop I really like to keep it interactive so please feel free to ask questions as we go along uh, even little detail -y things are fine I may not answer them right away but I will definitely pause as we go along and uh, go through questions. So it's very easy to feel to feel like you're getting behind or feel like you're getting stuck. So please feel free to ask. You can just type in your question. I will read them off so that everybody knows what I'm responding to and then I will answer it. Okay. So this is really what we're going to talk about. We're literally, as I said, going to, I'm going to assume uh, that you have not used SPSS before. So we're just going to talk really before even talking about SPSS, but about how your research questions, your research design, your variables, units of observation, those issues, how those affect how you set up your data within SPSS and what you need to keep in mind. So we're going to start there. And then we will go through the SPSS environment, the different windows, uh, the data window, the output window, the syntax window, and some basic syntax rules, which um, make your life much easier if you follow to a T. And then we're going to talk about different ways of opening and importing SPSS Excel data sets, because uh, that's pretty common to have to import Excel. Then also saving the data. Not only the data, the whole data set, but what if you want only part of your data set? If you want to drop some variables, drop some observations, things like that. Uh, how to actually enter a brand new data set. Uh, we don't seem to do that as much anymore now that much data collection is done electronically, but it still happens that you'll have, for example, a stack of paper data that you need to enter. So we'll talk about entering data. And then much of a, a pretty large section will talk about defining variables. And this is extremely important. Setting up your metadata or your information about your variables correctly. And not just correctly so that SVSS works, but so you can save yourself a lot of time and hassle. There are things you can do here to really make things uh, much easier on yourself. Okay, and then in part two, once we've got the data all set up and workable, we will start with just some univariate descriptive. So basic stuff, some distributions, uh, talking about uh, central tendency spread, all those uh, frequencies, um, things like this. Pretty simple stuff, but uh, we'll talk about how to do those both in the menus and in the syntax, and it will start to show you as well how to work with the syntax, for example. One thing I do want to mention is you should feel free to pull up your outline. You should have gotten this off our workshop website and to open SPSS and just follow along. Go ahead and do it as I do it if you find that helpful. If you don't, if you just want to watch and try it on your own later, that's fine too, whichever you prefer.